Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do things a little bit different in this video. Um, so I'm going to do a vlog which will probably take a few days, maybe the week. I have so much going on just now. I'm homeschooling George and um, is my cat trying to climb up the ladder. There's just a lot going on. So I'm just going to do a daily kind of vlog, including the pieces to do with the work. There might be some family things in here, but I'm, I'm hopefully going to make a better video that's that's the main thing so today i have some items to retrieve but before i do all that i have got to get this whole area kind of sorted it's just a mess i just can't stand it i want to hoover this red carpet it's just like a little cut out bit but i like to use this for um parceling up and it's just mank it and um, there's just loads of bits and pieces there's just boxes everywhere i just need to sort this out so I'll fast forward it so it'll be nice and quick for you guys. Just a quick tip for parceling up your um, fragile items. Wallpaper. You get it usually really quite cheap in a charity shop. I got this one for a pound. It's really good thick. Nice has cockles all over it. Great. Anything too valuable or that, I'll bring down to the floor level and just parcel it properly here. And then otherwise, I use the top of here to parcel up. So we have some shelves, we have the big bubble wrap, and then I have some containers where I kind of know where everything is. And then the art is down at the bottom. And then there's a little shelf up here as well. I have the printer under there. And just some little knickknacks up here. So that, this is pretty much my layout. It's a bit of a nightmare because we have to work around the wires. Be careful. And around the pipes. Be careful. But we do make do just now. We just have to be careful. So that's the start. We've got it tidy. Now I will pull out the items I've got to do today. Okay. So the first item. It's a bit dark back here. It's it's in here. I can see it. You You maybe won't be able to see it. There we go, it is the Davidson's glass. Is it Davidson's glass? I'll need to double check. It's from Stour Bridge. So that's the first one, we sold that for 50. Okay, next is the candlesticks, which are right here. I think they were 15 or 18. And then I have a huge bit of glass. It's the Murano horse. Now I've not actually sold this horse. This is actually getting sent to my friend who is down near Stour Bridge. Now, I'll try to get some light over here. There you go, that's a bit better. So, yeah, we're going to try and get this repaired. See what the price is in the first instance to get this repaired. So, yeah, that's going down to my friend to see how we get on with that. So, I have three decent pieces of glass to package up today and then on to the next job. spot up there. Oh, it's a charity shop. We might go there after we go here. Yummy. Happy with the pair of slippers? Jeez. <laughs> so we're 
back from shopping and we went to a few charity shops but didn't find anything which is probably just as well so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start going through everything shelf by shelf box by box and then finish with the shelf here and basically I'm going to take away items that have had little or no interest have been on for too long so what I'm going to do, the plan is to pick 8 to 10 items, stick them on at auction. If they don't sell at auction, they get redonated. I'm being so strict with myself, I'm just going to take it as um, a bit of a loss. But the inventory needs replenished, it needs to be renewed. Um, it's sitting for a little bit too long. There are high priced items, like this. Well, that can stay on. That's fine. That's minting. That's old. That's good. This Victorian milk glass, hand painted, I've had on for so long. It's a trophy vase. So, yeah, this will be the first item to go on at an auction. And if it doesn't sell at the auction, it's getting re donated. And I'm being so strict with myself. Four. Um, had these on for a while but I've recently just retaken photos of them so I am going to leave them um, this copper chalice enamel chalice let's take that that can stay that can stay let's take the salt pig that's wedge with that can stay and these are both Italian um, The thing with things like this is if they don't sell, I'm likely going to keep them myself. So that's why I probably wouldn't put them to auction. I'm not willing to let them go for under market value. So if they wouldn't sell, I would keep them. I love that design. So this is the keep on at fixed price. This is the auction. Oh no. And let's go down to the next shelf because one, two... Three, four, five, six. So let's get more. Oh, I wanted her gone. Seven. Um, I love that. Not long had that. Carnival glass, I love that. And I would keep that myself. I think the next two things, I don't know if you can see very well. These redware vino um, beakers those maybe hello sweetheart are you coming to distract me mm, you know beautiful watch them in there there's scissors are really sharp ones in there hello so yeah and then what we'll do i'll get that listing back for next month which is coming up so I get a whole new batch of listings so then we go over to the other side of the loft okay so this is the corner of shame it's been on a video before this is the death pile so that lights glaring a little bit isn't it but I have a few of my newer items over here so I'm going to be replacing those listings oh. Actually, that's much better light down there. <laughs> that was a fortunate mistake. I like when that happens. I'm going to put my face on. So there's two, and then I'm going to put that magazine rack. So that's three. And then, right, okay, we have um, some vintage bags. So I took them out the other day, and I've polished them all up and put them back in to put online. So I'm going to take them as well. So that will be that lot there and the bags and I think I will put all those online and we'll just keep doing that every week is my aim to every week start taking things off getting things on and boo and then um, yeah just start start this stock moving just in case you know we ever find we're getting you know a new house or you know it's or anything like that I want to be ready to go 
Hello, darling. And my work really just needs to clear out, to be quite honest with you. So that is Thursday. Um, it's nice, though. It's nice to see some empty shelves. And I look forward to going through all the other boxes and just getting it done bit by bit by bit. But, you know, it, it's just got to be done. And I'm getting bored. I am getting bored of looking at the same thing on my shop. And just now, I'm not in a position to just expand my shop and just keep keep listing, listing, listing. I'm not in that position. I have a small area and now I'm just super busy. So I've just got to be strict and just keep things moving on and moving through my shop. 